Hello everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction. As you can tell by the title, it's another Jacksepticeye video, and it's a another like I guess you could say little hint of egos or whatever related type of video. Now, when the here's how I f figured this out. I just get I was getting out of work. And I get a notification from YouTube that Jack uploaded a video. And it was... The title itself kind of gave me, like, I don't trust that at all. We went back. And the thumbnail didn't really help either. But I was like, mm, then again, titles can really throw us off. And it could just be innocent as it is. But then I start hearing a lot of people on Discord going crazy because there was something in the video. So, I might as well just get right into it and see what the hell they were talking about. But, uh, anyways, without further ado, let's react to this video, shall we? Hello, everyone, it's you ladies, my name is Jack Sutsuki, and welcome to a game called We Went Back. It's a free-to-play game on Steam. Visually, looks absolutely outstanding. I love the sci-fi, I love the, the spooks, moon. I love the lighting, everything looks I'm getting a exactly poly team like vibes I again. Want to look. And because it's free, I think it's only like a 20 minute little thing that we get to play, but that's perfect for a YouTube video. What else do you need? Uh, instructions. Zooming. That's what the kids do. Zooming. <laughs> Epic. I want everything. Epic, Epic as dude. fuck, dude. Except he's on board. I can't have that be epic. Ooh. Oh. Cryo sleeping. Oh, so we're on the moon? Is that we're on a moon life base? Form a life form Ooh, detected. Yes. Extraterrestrial contact. Great. So that's the cryo chamber. He's coming everywhere. I like it. it. Reminds me of Alien Isolation. Hmm. It's the only reason I wanted to play it. It's one of the best horror games ever made. Kind of sad I didn't do a, a let's play of that actually. But I have no idea what's actually going on in this game. Okay, can I turn subtitles on for you? Because I don't know what you're saying. Apparently not. So we're just going to have to use our listeners for this. <laughs> yeah, this looks great. Luna OS. I have a password, though. Uh, Jackass. Oh, for fuck's sake. Damn, didn't work. Right. <laughs> Toss boy by Animal Crossing. Oh. At the moon. Do I hear something growling? Are we on the moon or are we not? You guys up something, huh? You guys found something that you weren't really supposed to find, huh? There's a reason we never went back. What is it? Oh, I saw that. Is this a spooky, scary creature? <laughs> I so saw Toss Boy. Do you mind if I yes? What is that? It's a Polaroid camera. Okay. Polaroids. Why is the music so scary? What was that? Can I use the camera? Polaroid cameras. Uh, please? They look familiar to I'm me. We're using camera and flash down there to see what we got. Astronauts. How's it going, lads? These astronauts are hanging out, out here. <laughs> hanging out and about. Oh, anyway, go about your day. I think they're just empty suits. Oh, this is cool looking. Huh, there's a gym. I love stuff like this. I'm, I've been in such a sci fi mood lately. All the stuff that I want to watch, all the stuff that I want to play, is just all huh. sci-fi. Please, give me cool more. Pool table. I want really good sci-fi stuff. Treadmills. Weights. Specialized suit manufacturer. That's a very minimalistic poster. I like it. July huh. 69. I'm trying to grasp some information out of this. Taurus planning. Truth in time. Well, July 1969 is when the moon landing happened. Okay. Does, it, does a big brain know what this means? Talking about the are surface we, of the moon and drilling into the surface of the moon. Because you got some sort of, like loop down here, some sort of wormhole thing. That probably draws source of resources well, must... from the moon's core. One might even say that they're interconnected. Or mantle, whatever the hell. Check your blood oxygen levels. Hmm. Especially. There's a lot in there. Oh, am I going to have to mark Watney this? Hedera Duran. Hmm. Plants. He's all dead? No. I know. They're just ugly looking. <laughs> they might as well be dead. <laughs> they could be. Frozen in time. Ooh. Oh, this whole ship is a loop. I didn't even realize until just now. That's the ship that we're looking at. I bet that we were warping time. 
That's how they say that you make a ship to go through space time faster, that it has to be a, a circle. Well, it doesn't have to be, because we can't do it. Um, but that's, a lot of depictions are like that. Oh, come on! Somebody with a big brain tell me what the binary means. I don't know! Uh, I have a big brain for different things. Hey, 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 hey! Ew, oh god, those eyes. Face. Ooh, lots of butterflies out. Catch them. Butterflies. Some of the nooks cranny and you'll get a lot of bells. Ha <laughs> I know what you again. Trying to grasp some sort of insight into what's actually going on. It's a very interesting ship. If it even is a ship, it might be actually a, a base. A That's what I was saying. It might be a moon base. That might be on the moon. Who knows? We could be under the ocean. Because of the cryo chamber. Is That's that what that why. Was saying? Did the picture at the start where I saw the loop indicate that it was in an ocean and I just didn't pay attention? God, there's so much atmosphere. This is wonderful looking. Great job. Good job. Developers. Yeah, the game's good. Cool looking. Whoa, oh, I did not expect that to open like that. Well, then. Okay. I am back at the start. Now we're at the beginning. Where we were. The cryo oh, chamber. Alright, just go back in. Wow, that does it, guys. Excellent game. Smash like. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I mean, this, but I didn't get the actual password for it. I don't know where it would be. All I got was a Polaroid, and someone took a picture of me, and then I saw some sort of demon in it. I didn't see anything. Ooh. Oh! 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 I was too busy looking down there and I didn't even realize you're all looking at me. The astronaut helmets are looking at us. Okay. I'm and they're still looking. Oh my like god. It. Stop. You piece of garbage. Oh, I can't go past. Probably another oh, one, right? They're looking at me. Oh, their heads follow me. Oh, stop it. There's something in my teeth. <laughs> What the oh, fuck? Now? What is happening? Why is happening? I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to look at cool space stuff. Okay, I can't go back to that. I'm telling you, just go back into the pod, like the womb. Get back in there. Just cuddle yourself up. Cover yourself in fluids and fall asleep. Oh, jeez. Wait, my cryo seems interrupted, though. That means... There's nobody in that. No. Where is everybody? Dead. Oh, I can interact with this. <gasps> oh, my. Oh. That was a very naked person. So naked they didn't even have skin. Only muscle. Yes, by all means, follow them. That's a very smart yeah. idea. Yeah. Hey, where'd they go? To get killed. Play some music. Can the shakes. Knife. 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 Tape. Knife. Someone who really likes knives. Oh, oh you little fucker. Oh. <laughs> so, I have to make a... There picture. it is. There's the glitch. All right. I have to take pictures and... Was that it, though? The different cycles of the moon. Then it's of the moon. I'm assuming that that's the password at the end. Ah. Can I just guess the password if I'm very big brain? You yeah, see, this. We're way down under the water then, right? No. We're on the moon, stupid. Okay. Well, I didn't see anything else with these on it, did I? Why is there so many knives everywhere? Stop looking at me! You're making me insecure. You're not even real people. Let's look around for symbols of moons. You probably missed it. It was on probably on those notes. 19, yeah. 4 to 7. Yeah, I have this. Can I use it? Oh. Help. Okay. Come on, guys. It's just one big prank, huh? Don't be messing with me. I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. And I'm not going to indulge in it. Oh, stuff is making sounds. This is like PT where I just keep going through the loop and it's different every time. 
Speaking of. Yeah. That didn't bring me to the cryo area. I'm in a completely different... Well, I've, I've been in the same section, but... Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah. I see what you're doing, game. It's not funny he just said that. To. It's, it's going to be like PT and then literally it becomes uh, like a loop. Not much I can do about it now. There's nothing to interact with yet, right? So that I can take pictures of stuff if I'm able to interact. Oh, weird. Oh, boy. Yeah, there it is again. Look. That's trippy. It's looping more still. Oh, I like that. I'm a fan of that. Can we actually hit the end of it, though? Does it continue? Oh, you're new. Oh, there's nothing. Glow stick. I mean, this is it. I got a picture. Cool. So I got one more. Nice. All right. Progress is progress. And in a place that's all loopy loopy, progress is good. Progress is hard to come by. How do we get out of the loop? Oh, like this. Maybe. Great job, me. <laughs> ah, there we go. Now everything. Okay, normal. this is normal. This is what I'm used to. This I've seen before. Oh, here's a new one. Something actually smacked the glass. Ooh. Can I? Hello? I can't interact with it. Do I have to put one down before I can interact with a new one? Glow sticks. Let's check. That's half. Well, this is the one I have already then. So we need to go... Here? No. I don't know. It doesn't change anything. The rat's gone. Well, that's great. Something ate the rat. It wasn't me, I swear. I, I much prefer mice. I never eat rats. Gross. Are you kidding me? Well, you eat mice. Dirty, filthy. Ooh. Is that the rat? Oh, oh my! I just saw him disappear too. Like he okay, just he just blinked. disappeared. He blinked out, more out of existence. This than just a guy without skin. All right, topsy turvy, loopy doopy. What secrets do you have? You must have something going on in here. Hello. A glove, really. Oh, weird. Just took a picture of the stump. This is weird. So maybe there's one in each area every time I go through. Interesting. Oh, it's broken more, and the thing's gone. <laughs> It's like a game of spot the difference. Like, what's missing? What's there? Know, what's you not there? Are you guys still looking at me? No, definitely. Okay, Calm down. Good. Thank you. Oh my god. What the hell are you? Where? Mr. Giant Man. I'm going in here. Bye. Fuck Bye. you. No. If you see a guy standing there with long legs and no skin. You run the other way! Get away from that guy! That, that, that guy's definitely a freak then. Oh, mercy me! Okay, so. So you're dark on the right side, so that means that. You go. The other way? Here. Right? No. That's this one? No, it's the other way. Maybe that one. It's the yes. other way, I think. That one. You yes. flip them, flip them, maybe. I don't know. Let's find them all and then we can mess around with them. Oh, he's still there. Still here, I see. Should we square off against him? Very good. What you got? What you got, fucker? What you got, Mr. You got Daddy that? Long Legs? You're a weird, freaky alien. Ah! <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, it's not even. <laughs> oh, he just square off against him. He ain't got shinkies. Well, there goes all the weights. Did you cover them with ectoplasm? Uh -huh. Oh my oh, god. You ruined all the plants. You destroyed I all the plants. really hard on those. Oh no, Ratman! He is dead. Okay, it's all back together. Get some of the equipment. Quick! Somebody save him, please! He's dead. He's still moving. Ew. He's still <laughs> what else moving. Oh, great. Right here. Let me pick it up. This. Oh. Nice. Oh. I can hear people outside clapping. At 8 p.m. every week, we clap for the NHS workers who are fighting so hard to fight back against the virus. Thank you! The fuck was that? Everybody that on the whistle. Front lines kicking ass. Only is helping one the world butterfly. stay afloat. Thank you. Sincerely and seriously. I mix up both words. I'm just going to run through the loop once more and see what happens. Are we going to go up against our Mr. Jerky Man? Mr. Beef Jerky? Where you at, bud? You in here? Is it broken more? No, it's broken less now. He's repairing the place. What a lad. What a lovely lad. Maybe he's not here anymore. This Maybe he's in there. I'm having a lovely time. Oh. I thought I saw a shadow of him. Uh, you are this one. Wait, can I move these? I can't move these ones. Because that one is this, and then after that is this one, and then something. No, then... put that one over there. Oh, and then it's this. And then it's you. Baby? Interesting. Oh, it might be mixed. I don't know. I thought maybe try to do it in, in the like the order of the phases. Oh my god! Is that Jesus? Is it? Maybe not Jesus. Maybe somebody else. Some guy just looks like Jesus. Hey, you're alive again! Yay! Oh, you put your stitch back together. You did it, guys! Thank you. Mwah. My love for you. I, I asked you to put it back together, and you did. You obliged. Thank you so much. Oh boy. Right. It'd be right here. Oh. That's an eyeball. That's an eyeball! <laughs> Through a That's pencil. That's an eye! I'm, I'm Jack Septic Guy, so I know eyeballs when I see him. Trust in me, guys. I you guess go a long way. He made you that pencil. What is an eyeball and what's not? Appear. I'll let you know. Now we got to go through our loop once more, and then we should have our password. Isn't and there one more get after F that? Out of here. I don't want to be here any longer than I need to be. It's all red and clothes and covered in blood. Those are usually bad signs. It looks cool though. Visually, love what you did with the place. I hear music. I don't like it. It's creepy. Stop it. What's playing in here? Oh, it's less creepy when you're next to it. Wait, what? Ah, the picture was this. Cool. Oh. Okay, I get it. L-T-F-I-U-E. That makes no sense, does it? What? Is it futile? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Get out! It's all on fire! Run! Oh shit! Hello? Guys, it's me! Wait. That might be. Wait a minute. Is that what happened? Somebody got burned? 
I thought that was us that we saw. Oh, that's an awesome picture. I want that. I want that in my house. No, oh, my plants! Do you have any idea how hard it is to fold this into size inside a tube? Oh, they did say that that was flammable, so they weren't wrong about that. I would argue the entire place was flammable. Are you out here, Mr. No Skin? Oh, don't just end there. Don't do that. No, don't, no, no. Don't you dare end like that. Don't, no. Don't do it. Okay, Ooh. Warning, life form detected. Please proceed to the nearest Okay, can I actually just use this now? Yeah, futile. Wait, was the password futile? Yes. Okay, oh, the moons are at the bottom! Oh, I didn't even see that. kidding me? <laughs> That's how you're gonna end it? Are you kidding me? What? What? Okay. All right, so I'm trying to gather what I think was going on. Um, it seems like the, the name We Went Back seems to imply that it's a, a moon mission, not underwater. Maybe it's actually underground on the moon. Um, so That's we what went I back said. To, to the moon because we stopped going there now. Uh, and something happened. Either we found something or maybe this event is actually just what it was, was that we ran out of oxygen and just died of the fire or asphyxiation inside the ship. Was the thing I saw even real? Who even knows? I feel like there was, I mean, there was probably a lot of explanation about what was going on around on the papers on the walls and I wasn't reading as much into them as I probably should. I knew the game was going to be short. I just didn't think that it would end without any sort of real explanation. And I usually love that kind of stuff. I love the ambiguity and the vagueness of things. This one felt a little too vague to, to really like get me going. The, the, the mystery in it wasn't really strong enough to really get my balls tingling, you know? I really want to feel that levitation going on right down there. Um, but it just wasn't really doing it for me. Visually, outstanding. Yes. Looks so good. I love the look of the the space station it is. And you got a lot out of very little. You had those specific compartments within it. And then you got a whole gameplay loop out of that PT style. And I like that. That was cool. And actually getting a loop out of it was interesting. Because when you go through something like PT, it's like go through one door, come out the same door again. It's like, ah, oh, okay. But this was an actual loop. And I really like that. So either there was some sort of time stuff going on, which I am way more partial to, or the person was just delusional and hallucinating everything that was going on because of lacks of oxygen. Do we know? I don't know. Will we ever know? Probably Let not. Me. Break down in the comments what you think was going on in this video. And I read through them. And I'll probably even heart a few of them. Because I'm cool like that. I like hearting things. It's just one click away and it's easy to do, you know? Don't call me a hero, guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like on the video. It helps me out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And until next time, farewell! <laughs>
It clearly had the moon surface on the fucking title screen. I don't understand how he did not see that. But I guess, whatever. But now, let's talk first talk about the game. Overall, it looked cool looking. Like, the whole concept of, like, oh, you're looping in one room over and over again. until, And then you have to find these certain, like, like, I guess, you know, mementos or whatever. These weird placed objects like this, like, camera or recorder, tape recorder. And then you have, like, a severed hand. And then you had like a an a pen an a eyeball punctured with a pencil, and some like DNA sample, like stuff like that. And then you had to take a use the pick the Polaroid camera to take these pictures and try to match, like connect. And then you had to use that look that record player, and actually just try to match the password to the door, which led to nothing. But throughout the game, you I like, guess as, as you first start going through it, especially to that one room with all those freaking spacesuits hanging up, and at one point, like I guess at one point, they start to look at you like, "What the fuck is the matter with you?" And the next thing you know, like one of them falls down in front of you, blocking you, and then you interact with that little vent, and you see the thing, the guy come out. And I thought maybe that was us reaching out because the vet was closed and it was on fire. And my the thoughts in my head like, okay, when you when you're near fire, your skin starts to the peel, and you start you when you're near fire and you get exposed to flames, your skin melts pretty much. But I, that's what I was thinking. But I, but we got out somehow. I don't know. But that one that one interaction we had with that creature with the daddy long legs. <laughs> that we got like you know shook from him and then he left and left us there. I don't know, like, something weird, some weird shit, and I guess time is broken on this, this moon state, moon base, whatever. But now let's talk about the one little hidden thing that Jack decided to add, or Robin decided to add into that whole little charade. Alright, when he's looking at those post-it notes of just knives. And he had said like a, something along the lines of, "Oh, I guess somebody has an a, a, a f affiliation with knives." You have this teeny tiny little glitch happen, and knowing who has the like who loves knives is a turtle guy named Manti. Because obviously, from say goodbye with the throat slitting, and obviously in some of his other appearances, like in the Pax intro of Bionic Redemption, he had a knife in his hand most of the time. So, Knives has always been affiliated with Antiseptic Eye for a very long time, stuff like that. And especially with this Jackaboy Man project looming over our heads like a rain cloud, ready to strike at any moment, we don't know what, what's going to happen. I don't know if this is going to lead to anything, most likely not. Like, usually anything like this I've been so used to it by now like it doesn't lead to anything yet like I get it he wants to build it up and obviously let him do that let him take the time but if you're if you're if you're trying to build to build some to build something to build up to something yeah that's what I was trying to say I kept butchering it if you want to build up to something huge you do it days and before it comes out you don't Tease and then months go by with nothing. I've been saying that for mu for many for years now. I've been saying that for the last two years now. And ever since 2017, we haven't really seen Auntie in the flesh, really. Like his last major appearance was Bar Rank Redemption. 
besides dark silence and a few other glitches and quit the game to win and Chase and Jameson's Jolly Johns, like besides those appearances, they were just small role appearances. It wasn't as huge as what Biorank Redemption was, where he was actually speaking and going crazy, you know? It wasn't like that. Those appearances weren't like that. But who knows what <laughs> this most likely is probably not gonna lead to anything, but you know, you know Jack. It could anything can happen you never know. At this point you never know. Right now it's just it's better just to take it with a grain of salt because you know how he is. <laughs> he just loves to throw a hint at us and to throw a glitch at us and think and make us go 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 crazy about it because we're so gullible. And try to put our detective hats on, trying to figure out is this gonna lead to anything? Is it gonna lead to anything? I don't like those glitches. I don't want you to do. I don't want you to set this community on fire anymore. I can't make those promises. I can't make that promise, but I'll try my best. I'm pretty sure that's what Jack is probably saying to himself right now. But overall, that whole game was pretty scary looking and. There's some moments I'm like, ooh, that was creepy. Like that fuck, that fucking creature guy, Daddy Long Legs. I don't know why I keep calling him that. Obviously because if he has he has long ass legs. Probably that's why. But that game overall was pretty scary, creepy looking, and that little glitch with after Jack talked about the knives. Obviously, is a reference to Anti, but uh, I don't know if it, if it should be taken seriously because usually one little glitch can cause a whole community to go crazy and think that there's something going to happen. Now, I don't. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. Sometimes it could be, like even the tiny, like the smallest little, you know, hint. I, rem I will still never forget, like, the one time, it was when Jack was opening gifts from the, one of his first legs of the tour, and he had this little anti-doll made, and, and, like, Jack said, look at it, look at Auntie glitching all over the place, and he, he, they added a glitch in that moment, and people thought Auntie was coming back, I'm like, no, he's not, it was because of the doll. And also, he did anti two months prior. He's not gonna do anti every couple month, every, like every month or so. Let him take the time. Let it just be less is more, okay? Let him do that. Let him build his little cinematic ego first, and then we'll be happy, hunky dory, all right? Anyways, enough ranting and rambling about his ego verse and stuff, and this game was pretty cool looking, though, I will say. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends, be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure to check out my Instagram because I make cool it's Markiplier, Jack the guy, even myself. I also reenact as a cosplays on there, so go check it out. Be sure to check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. You okay, Ratio? You're having some. You having a rough time there? Like he was like sneezing a little bit. You good? Alright, I guess he is. He's a good boy. So, anyways, enough. Sorry about that. But, anyways, until next time, JRDL96 signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!